speaking fluently comes easily for most of us. However, it can be a challenge to some. International Stammering or Stuttering Awareness Day happens on the 22nd of October every year. And the goal here is for all of us to raise stuttering awareness in our own communities and join with other organizations, both nationally and internationally, to educate the public and reach to those who stutter or stammer, who still feel alone and isolated. Thank you for tuning in on this show. Our topic of discussion is stammering or stuttering, depending on where you are, but the, the two mean one and the same thing. We are now joined by a gentleman who is a stammer, and his name is Kiplish Keter, the founder of Be Patient Stammering Foundation, after years of struggling to fit in, Kiplish started this foundation that raises awareness about stammering. And also in studio is, you know, Sister Gladys Rotich, a speech therapist at the Kenya Institute of Special Education, just to help us understand how speech can be improved. My name is Purity Musea, and of course, your health show starts right now. Thank you so much for joining us on this discussion this evening. Uh, we really appreciate. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, and, and let me begin with you, um, sister, because, you know, stammering, stuttering, and people wonder, is it even a problem? You know, how do I know when I hesitate speaking? Is that stammering? Let's begin by basically defining what stammering or stuttering is. Basically, stammering is a speech disorder. It means the speech is not in order. It means, I give an example. Could be you would want to say my home, and you keep repeating my, 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 my home. So it is identified by somebody failing to speak fluently by repeating. There is repetition. At another time, there can be blockage. My name is Rotich. I might say my name is Rotich. So you are blocked. You take some time before finishing. Those are the categories. Those are, yes. Prolonging and then you said blockage. Blockage. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. At times again, so that is basically what we identify mm -hmm. in a Those person two with stability. So yeah. Uh, the, the prolonging, you know, and then we have the blockage. There are the two categories. And there is repetition. And there, there is are repetition. Three. Yes. Are these categories defined by the severity of, you know, the condition? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, stammering. The problem of stammering is not in stammering alone. There is more than stammering. Mm. Because there are emotions which carry this. How people react when I stammer is what makes stammering more. So, apart from not being fluent, the biggest challenge is the reaction of other people. You'd want me to finish my story, but I'm taking too long repeating. Mm -hmm. And it is not my wish being a person with impatient, stammering. You know. Yes. Yeah. So it's like you want to say A, but what comes out is B. And you know very well you would want to say this. So the reaction of other people makes me or makes a person with stammering, it affects self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much once again, you know, Dominic, for joining us. Uh, tell us, when did you discover you had a problem with your speech? I discovered that um, having a speech disorder at the age of four mm. because my fellow kids were speaking so. Mm. so fluent mm -hmm. and uh, and like me who I was having some cut time in pronouncing some words mm -hmm. you know At the same goes now I feel is now um, so different from them because they were 
menti side that mm. stammering is contagious yeah so, so, so they were running away from, away from me mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. what was going on at home then when you discovered did you come back and you know told your parents i think i have a problem or or what happened i didn't think ask about my condition mm. because but in every t time that I was being discriminated I was reporting to my my mother mm. and you know stammering in Kenya it is very under is very under created mm. and there's some myth that eating a lot of egg it causes stammering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stammering. So I, I was even being tried to eat some eggs at mm -hmm. an early age. Mm -hmm. Now without knowing that stammering is a, a genetic effect. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the signs. Are there signs that one can tell, a parent can tell, I think my child is different. And of course, you know, it's very confusing, sister, because <laughs> how do you tell my child has this problem or they are just learning how to speak? This behavior mainly happens when a child is stressed or when there is a lot of tension. That worsens. So when it is done, when there is tension, because mm. In learning to speak, it's whether you are excited or uh, things are calm or you are annoyed, mm. the way you talk remains. But for stammering, it is worsened by situation. Let me go back to Dominic. Dominic, our sister had mentioned that there are two categories, and I hope I'm making you relaxed. <laughs> I really <laughs> want to. Mm. Yeah. So, um, sister had mentioned that there are two categories, which is three. prolonged. There are three. Yeah. Yes. Prolonging, Prolo prolongation, repetition, and blockage. Ah, right. Yes. So maybe which which one do you you know do you struggle with? Is is this, is, is it prolongation? Is it blockage? Is it repetition? Personally, mm. I'm falling under those three okay. category because uh, at some t t t time I'm adding some syllables in every word for easier pronunciation. Yeah, pronunciation. Yeah, and yeah. Sometimes the blockage. I'm using a lot of energy to 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 pronounce mm. some words. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and even prolongation because there are certain words I usually avoid to mm. use them because they are too in my long. conversation mm. yeah yeah okay so let's talk about the courses dominic had mentioned uh, uh, something to do with Genetic. family history yes you know so are there known cause for this research is still on mm. but uh, we find there is some association with neurological yeah yeah Neurological, maybe there is something which might be slightly different from the rest in the brain. Mm -hmm. Remember, the person knows very well what to say, but it is not coming out. Why it is not coming out, mm -hmm. it is still being researched. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But we realize again there is an element of genetic. Some they say they are family members who stammer or a relative, though in some cases you find there is none. Yeah. yeah. But there is a connection again with the genetics. Mm -hmm. And is it yeah. true that a stammering may, you know, may reduce with age? Yes. Mm -hmm. Depending on the onset. Yeah. Most when it starts at an early age and again given therapy, at times it reduces as age, mm -hmm. but at times it is there throughout. Mm -hmm. mm. So for uh, Dominic's case, maybe where can you categorize he, this? Is it going to, he's only under 30 years old, you know? Yeah. yeah. The challenge we have currently is 
not having access to speech and language therapy so that we can give a clear information in how the person has started therapy and how the process has proceeded. Yeah. Because accessing speech and language therapy is a challenge. It's a challenge. Is it true maybe? Did you try uh, reaching out to, you know, some of these interventions and you are not able to? Or maybe you can take us through your journey. Have you, have you seen any expert? Have you gone through any therapy? Or how has your journey been like, Dominic? Yeah. After two cases, therapy, but, but the cost is too high. Yeah. Speed therapy, Sister Grotich can tell you. And uh, at least you must attend a minimum of 10. Okay? Sessions. Yeah, 10 sessions and claim views a case study of one of the hospitals here. They, 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 they are serving between 4,000 4, to 6,000 per session. So, <coughs> roughly, that is in between 40 to 60. You know? Mm. How many Kenyans can afford, can afford that? Yeah. And the number of the speed therapies is too low. The entire Kenya is only 16. Oh, wow. Plus mm. our sister. Our, our sister included. Yeah. So, minus sister group. Group is 15. Yeah. And at that time, I was in Kaka Mega. Mm. There and was none. Yeah. And mm. most of speed therapist are in Nairobi. So it it, 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 it is a bit challenging for mm. a common German age to a access, a access mm. this service. Because it is not a, a, a pro bono mm. service. Mm. You must pay for it. Yeah. How big of a problem is stammering, stuttering in Kenya, in Africa? in the world, just paint a picture for us. Yes, yeah. speech and language therapy training, even in the country, it's something new. It is new in the country, but not only in Kenya, even in East Africa and in Africa as a whole. So even as I studied myself in Moe University, we only had, in 2012, we only had two speech and language therapists in the whole country. But for now, they are around 16, as he, as he says. We need more. These 16, they are in private institutions and uh, very few are in government institutions, mm -hmm. which it is tricky to access speech and language therapy. That mm -hmm. is the truth. And at Kise, maybe how many? I'm the only one at Kise. Yeah. And the only one practicing in the Ministry of Education. So I'm alone at Kise. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so do you, is, you know, do you have a huge burden of you know? Yes, I have a waiting to? list of around 300 children. Yeah. Who are waiting to be over the speech and language therapy services, and um, remember, speech and language therapy is not only stuttering, so that is just a percentage. The rest again are those with different problems but with communication problems. These who have delayed in speech mm. and we also, but Kise is scattering for school going age. Yes, even in the university one can be attended because it is still school mm. going this age. means it's not easy to have data of, you know, children who stammer in the country. Yes, yes. for stammering it is, we don't have the data as such. Okay. Mm before you boldly, you know, came out and said, yeah, I, I have this problem and started your foundation. What are some of the challenges that you are going through in this society? The challenges that I f faced are too many. Mm. 
mm. in in primary i really thank god because i was bleeding all my same in education mm-hmm. in pre- primary the mwalimu alikuwa akiingia in class it mm-hmm. suppose all of you kuna mna si mama yeah. so u, ukijibu chwali una ticket i personally ni si mama all the subjects math english all because i know the answer but i'm afraid to speak up due to humiliation and other shit changed they will clap at me so singe jibu surely ninge see mama the all day from monday to friday even i dropped out of school in class 4 because in school to me it was like like chill mm. you know una si mama the all syllabus mm. then in, in class 7 tena kulikuwa na hii pressure that marafiki zako kwa kikosa na na kunem upigwe na wao so that kuna mfanani so which mimi sija kosa kosa no cuz you can't defend yeah yeah dona jua chiplish i can speak you know even in form 2 if you know by bad luck the person who was sponsoring my education was killed in quest get attack that time so i get to transferring to a local and mixed school mm-hmm. so kul to kana issue about the relationship is so the deputy principal got confused because there were two new students in mm-hmm. that class mm-hmm. so i was punished like kneel from 1:30 to 4 4:30 because i couldn't pay a time ni ji eh yeah i can slap yeah. you know after you kujenda kuuliza are you fabian nikasema no dominic these are the some of the challenges we are facing even in patatu mm. you can um again no kwanda mimi mean to travel the most of the time lazima kwe the mtu because you know one time i was trying to to bargain but now the tooth i can feel see in front of other passengers that we were going to mkubwa now now you kuongea so if you the then even i graduated last year now during the attachment period i was denied what are what have you studied maybe bc environmental science oh okay now the hr akasema i'm poor in communication i'm nervous and up chai you know and you know after that during the corona period period many interviews are, are done via zoom or phone call mm. interview i i tried to apply some in Spanish, but i was hung up in a phone in interview because the interviewer and then maybe my signal is having cool. some technical so mm-hmm. i can hang up and some nicknaming you, you know some of us we have been nicknamed so many times like nadomi bladomi you know and you also not even, even given enough time, time yeah yeah it, even in high school that th- th- i was i was the building up so the students tunga kuja kuiba kengele asubuhi so that says ring bell kwa sababu tunagopa kuwauliza kengele iko wa in kenya the 
Equality Act. Equality Act is too weak. You know, like in viewers, if you're making some jokes about the stammering is an offense. Okay. Yeah? Mm. But in our countries, like in Kenya, even I think it will be good if even the people with special interest like the disability people should also elect their leaders mm. rather than the, these appointments you know yeah. like like if they so have been appointed they are only defending the people who fall under their, mm. their category yeah yeah, yeah. We have a minute, but uh, sister, I just want to welcome you into maybe, I know there's a lot to talk about. I don't even know what to ask you because there are a lot of issues, but um, the level of awareness that we have, because that's what he's basically talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about, is there a treatment? Is, can this be reversed? Because you said when, you know, arrested early enough, then someone can get back to normal. Maybe you can quickly, quickly tell us how some of the interventions that are available for, you know, stammers and also the ch what needs to be addressed, like he's, he's talking about the challenges that people Let are facing. Let me give a practical example of what I really do to the children who are brought to Kise. Mm. Because when you realize most children suffer because they are given a chance to speak and they are not able to giving like giving information to the teachers most teachers have no idea mm. that this is a case of stammering so if they are made aware they will be handled differently yeah. so there is need for most institutions i'm happy we are presenting this in the media which yeah. is another way of bringing their to attention mm. because if given a chance and everybody knows that this is there and it is not the wish of a person that is handled differently. Like I give an example of, again, the parents. They are not aware and they quarrel the children at the younger age. Ah, ah, Please speak well. That makes it worse. Rotich, do you, sorry, this it's is okay. <laughs> Rotich. Dominic, yeah. do you have any parting shots before we wind up, we are winding up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are celebrating international day. Stammering Day on 22nd October, and uh, we will, you know, the symbolism of stammering is green, and we will be planting some trees in Gong. Mm -hmm. The chief guest is the PS of Environment and Forestry, Dr. Chris Kipto. And you, you all to welcome to share to yeah. make awareness. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for making time for us. Thank you so much, sister, for making time for us. Welcome. This, was, this was really educative, informative. I've learned so much, and moving forward, I'll be among the people who are very careful into you know trying to see who has this problem and bring them to you because you're really yeah. few in the country. Thank you once again. Thank you once again. I appreciate that brings us to the end of our show this evening. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Purity Musil. Do enjoy the rest of our programming and stay safe. We just leave you with a few tips on interventions available for stammers. <laughs>